Hello everyone and welcome to another Your Keys Bits and Bobs Home Tech. Today we have another unboxing and it's this little baby here. This is a smart socket. This is the SP23 smart socket. It's made by a company called Tekin, as it says on there. And I bought it on Amazon for just under £16 and I'll stick a link in the video description in case you want to go and check it out. And if you're like me and you want a, a smarter home, this might be something you can invest in. It should be quite easy to set up. It will work on Google Assist and it will also work on Alexa, which I have already set up in the other room. And Alexa can hear me from here. I've actually muted it now just to keep her quiet because she'll be off. So what we're going to do, we're going to download an app for this as well, because you can download an app to put on your phone or your tablet, so you can control it from your phone, or, like I said, from Alexa or Google Assist. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the unboxing, have a look, see what you get for your money, have a look around the box as well, and then we're going to test it, and then we're going to give our final review. So with that, shall we get on with it? Right, let's have a quick look around the box then. So it shows you a picture of what it is, tells you the model number sp23 says it's a two-piece tells you it works with google assist and amazon alexa can do wi-fi connection app control which we will be testing uh, set timer i will not be testing that but i'm assuming that will work and voice control which we will be testing as well uh, tells you the specifications on the back the frequency of the Wi-Fi says so 2.4 gigahertz only, so it will not work on 5 gigahertz. Got a 12-month warranty, which is very nice. And that's about it, really, on there. And we have a Q code, so you can go to the App Store or Google Play. And it tells you it's taken on the top and nothing on the bottom. So nicely presented, in my opinion. Gives you all the information you need. That way. Right, let's get her out. So there's your two sockets. Have a quick look around. So there's an on off button there by looking at it, or it could be a um, set up button. I'm not sure yet because I haven't tested it. And the same feels very nice and strong and sturdy. Yes, feels like good quality. Doesn't feel like it's going to break if you drop it, which is what we like. And you've got the warranty, user manual. So I will have a read of that, but I'll quickly show you. Hopefully you can see that okay. And some more information on the back. Smart Life. I do believe I might already have that installed on my phone. I'm not sure. Anyway, put that to one side. So what I'm going to do now is have a quick read of the instructions and uh, set her up and see how easy it is to set up. I already have Smart Life installed on my tablet, as you can see, and it's already running. To prove the point it's running, I have a Smart Light or Lamp, this baby here, and it's just called the Smart Lamp. That's all I named it. So just to prove that it works, Go in there, and we're going to change the colour to green or red or blue. Saturation down, turn it right up, brightness down. So you can see how easy it is to work. That's using the Smart Life, and we're going to be testing this first. So with that, what we're going to do is, before I plug these in, I just want to point something out that I did see um, on another channel, a YouTube channel, that these will not plug in on a, an extension lead right next to each other because they will not fit. They are too tight. The only one will plug in, you'd have to put a gap in on the other one, like in there. See, that fits. Something like that. So I just want to point that out to you, that if you put one them right next to each other, normally I wouldn't run them on an extension lead anyway. And I will show you how they fit in the socket later on as well just so you can see the difference. Right, we're going to be doing this one first, and the way I understand it, you can only do one at a time. So we'll be doing this one first. So basically, you plug it in, and there's two methods for connecting this. There's a quick connect, 
and then there's another method, a slower method. Now we will be trying both. Now the first thing you need to do is make sure it's turned on. And you should have a rapid light. If you don't get a rapid light like that, just get a solid one. You need to hold the button in for about five to six seconds and it will turn itself off, like so. And it should just come back on by itself. And then you should get a rapid blue light flashing. If you get another flashing light but a slower one, then you're in the other mode for connecting it. We have a rapid, so that's set up for quick connect. So what you do now, you go to the plus button and you connect using socket others. Configure, confirm indicator rapid blink, which we've just done. So click on that. Shows you your Wi-Fi you're connecting to and your passcode. Don't forget, you will have to put your passcode in for your Wi-Fi. So confirm that and just be patient. Right, so mine failed, so now we do it the other way, which is switch pairing mode. So click on that button now, and we need to change this to slow. So again, six seconds until it turns itself off. Come back on, it should blink slow. There you go. So now we're in the other pairing mode. So scroll down, confirm indicator slowly blink. That's what we've got. So we're confirming it. Again, it will ask you to connect to the Wi-Fi and put your passcode in. So confirm that. And then just go to connect. So Smart Life Triple X. Go to connect. And then on here, you will have one called Smart Life, which is this baby here. So click on that and connect. Connecting, connected. So then we can just go back, go, keep going back, don't worry about that, go right back to the beginning. And there it goes, sorted, so that's that connected. So we're going to test it, it says it's on, which it is, I can see the blue light. Uh, what we're going to do, I'm going to unplug this lamp, like so, plug it in here, it will still come back on. Yeah. And now I'm going to turn it off using the socket. So the lamp's gone off. Let's just move that in so you can see it properly. The lamp's gone off. Turn it back on again. It's on. <coughs> off. On. And that's that sorted. So that works really well. Right, so we know that's working. Now let's set up the second one. So I'm going to unplug this baby. So that's all set up. That will still work once you plug it back in again. Right, so we know that one's working. So all we have to do now is set up the second one, which is exactly the same as the first one. Right, one of the problems I read about was that when you plug them into a socket like this, say for instance in your kitchen, it hit the switch, but they've raised it up slightly. So it doesn't hit the switch no more, which is good. So you plug it in, you can turn it on. And the other problem we had was on an extension lead, you couldn't put two in next door to each other. Well, you can on a socket because there's that gap. So that makes that really easy. So that one's come on already. This one I've got to turn on. I'm not sure which is socket one, which is socket two. So I'm going to ask Alexa to turn them on and off. Alexa, turn socket one off. So that's that one. Alexa. Turn socket two off. So that's socket two. Alexa, turn socket two on. There you go. So that's all powered up. So that will work now. So that's it. So we know it works. I think it looks really good. Right, so what do you think? I was quite impressed myself. Easy to set up, even though the quick connect didn't work for me. It doesn't mean it won't work for you. It just didn't work for me. The other method worked fine with no issues whatsoever. I've also set Alexa up so Alexa can control it now. So if I want her to turn the lights or whatever this is controlling on and off, 
I can just say to Alexa, turn it on, turn it off. You can rename them. I just call them Socket 1, Socket 2, just to start with, but I will probably change the name sooner rather than later. So yeah, very impressed, easy to use. Once it's all done, you can just forget about it and just walk in the house or wherever you are in the world, provided you've got internet and tell it to turn it on or turn it off. Yeah, very good, very impressed. For £22, or just under, I think it's well worth the money. Not like I said earlier, £16. Uh, yeah, just under £22. Definitely gets my thumbs up. And hopefully this video will get your thumbs up. And if it did, give me a thumbs down and uh, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching.